All right, so we're back with the Elite Eight for the Black TV Show Tournament. Um, so the bracket is up, so you can see the first round. If you want to check that video out, um, it's linked bottom in the description. You can check out the first round of Sweet 16. But let's jump into it. We got Elite Eight. So my number one matchup, uh, or the first matchup, we got Fresh Prince versus Steve Harvey Show. One C versus the Upset Three C. Um, yeah, this this is tough. Um, uh, if you you know, if you listen to the first show, you know how much I respect the Steve Harvey Show. I, I think it's one of the funniest. If we were just going by pure comedy, this would definitely be up there. Um. Fresh Prince, though, does have those iconic moments. And so it, it, it's tough to me. I, I don't think this is an easy uh, case for me at all. Uh, it might be for some people. But, you know, I love Fresh Prince. I love Will. All that. Uh, yeah, he definitely carried the show. It was complimented well by the family. He, comp uh, he carried the show. And one of the big things I keep talking about with Steve Harvey shows, you had said the entertainer there, too. And so you had a second character you could have carry the show at times. And all the surrounding characters were really interesting. Um, Fresh Prince was too as well. Uh, it's tough, man. Then you got the iconic song of Fresh Prince. Woo! This, this is one of the tougher matchups, I think. Uh, might be the toughest matchup. Um, I'm trying to think. The thing about Steve Harvey's show as good as it was, I don't know that it has iconic moments. Like, it has great moments, but I don't know it has iconic moments that, uh, you know, sweep past just the, uh, you know, generation that was watching it at the time. Fresh Prince, you know, lives on, and it's pretty big in that sense. And probably had more drama than the Steve Harvey show. Uh, I'm a slightly slightly go with the fresh prince over steve harvey show to advance to the final four uh all right so then let's go over the cosby show number one seed versus wayne's brothers three seed uh this is this is interesting because to me uh very different uh kind of like the first round with family matters and wayne's brothers you got these uh shows about black families but wayne's brothers more that that kind of typical because they kind of used it as their like real life where you know they grew up poor with a lot of brothers and sisters and all that um so they used a lot of that into it you know the whole poverty thing and so you definitely got the family bonds but it was in a different way like cosby show and his work was very much trying to show you something that you didn't see on tv while Wayne's Brothers was more stereotypical, but it shows you that was more behind that than just, you know, being broke. And I think Wayne's Brothers has some uh, some tender moments in it. And then, you know, Wayne's uh, Marlon, uh, Sean a little bit, but mostly Marlon. You know, he does different characters, too. So, uh, yeah, I just, uh, I don't know. It's definitely funnier than the Cosby show. And I had a real struggle picking the Cosby show over Everybody Hates Chris because of the lack of comedy for me personally in the Cosby show. Um, and Wayne's Brothers is hilarious. You got Pops by himself. Um, oh, this is this is a real tough one. I mean, I thought about these all, but this now that I'm here, it is a tough one because... I just really think you had a lot of great characters in the Wayne's Brothers and it didn't live as long and it probably wasn't as big as the Cosby show. So for some people, they might not have watched it. And so Cosby definitely has the legendary status. I'm gonna go with Cosby show. I'm gonna go with Cosby show by a slight edge, by a slight edge, because it does mean a lot to the uh, black TV history um there are just so many lessons and you know a lot of shows on this uh bracket took from the cosby show so i gotta go with the cosby show very slightly because i really want to pick the wayne's brothers but and it wasn't like they had two seasons they they lived on for a while but i just don't feel like it had the same impact but i did love that show all right, so we're going down to Martin versus A Different World. This is easy for me. I'm going with Martin. 
Um, the one seed over the two seed. I love a different world, but Martin is a, a different type of funny. Um, yeah, honestly, different world barely got past Atlanta. The only reason I picked it over Atlanta is because Atlanta didn't have the it's only got two seasons it doesn't have that longevity and so um very culturally significant for a different world but i think atlanta is too but when you talk about cultural significance martin you know matches that and so uh the funny is better the iconic moments is better characters are more memorable so i gotta go martin last we got which might be the toughest matchup boondocks versus my wife and kids so in the first round i talk so much about my wife and kids if you never and you might be forgiven if you didn't watch that show because um that even that wasn't even a 90s show that definitely came i think right around the early 2000s or so um and so uh definitely if you're in my generation you were probably a little older once that show came out but uh, it was hilarious. Man, I watched that show religiously. Like I, I talked a lot about it. I just think that not only was it so funny and it had the whole family thing where it's well balanced, there's good themes in it. I just thought everybody held their own, whether it was the kids, whether it was uh, Tisha Campbell, whether it was Damien, uh, Damien Wins. It was overall just hilarious and then bro you know what i just remembered this uh if you talking about iconic though and it's funny that it's going against boondocks because cat williams had an iconic episode on my wife and kids where he played uh i forgot his name but he was a dude that used to like break dance against uh damian wins character and so <laughs> <laughs> bro he was like stuck in the 80s and like he was still like pop locking in there bro if, if you never watched the show that that one episode would be funny enough and then of course you had uh what do they call him uh not terry cruz it was something terry office linebacker terry tate office linebacker the guy that played him the big black dude he was uh like a bully he was like <laughs> He was like a bully to Damian Wynn's character, but they end up being friends. And he been he was a long time. Oh my God! You know what I just realized? I just realized I forgot Malcolm and Eddie. Malcolm and Eddie should have been on this tournament. I'm gonna have to think about that later. But anyway, uh, my for kids great, but Boondocks. So now you're talking about iconic Cat Williams, a pimp named Slick Back. It's hard to beat that. I'm talking about, it's hard to beat Boondocks. I honestly, Boondocks, it is going to be really hard to go up against it because the, like, what it changed in the, the um, pop culture, you know, where it's, uh, <laughs> you know, I like you and I want you. Or, you know, any of the stuff, you know, the itis, uh, you know, uh, the nigga moment, stink meaner, all that, like, but then on top of that, it is probably funnier than most of the shows on this bracket. And so it's not just iconic, it's hilarious. But it always has something to say. And so it is really hard. I mean, this is really, you got to think about what you're looking for in these TV shows. Because like I said, I think the family format really lends itself to being a good black TV show. So my wife and kids definitely hit that. But I own the Boondocks, man. I own all the seasons, complete box set. It's just the, like each of those shows are iconic. And, or each episode, for the most part, besides the we don't count the fourth season. But the third, the first three seasons, those are like iconic by themselves. And, and so uh, very slightly, I got to go Boondocks. So our final four is Fresh Prince versus Martin, Cosby Show versus Boondocks. So stay tuned for the final four. We'll go over that, but go to the comment section. Let me know uh, what you pick, uh, what your final eight would be based off the Sweet 16, and then what your final four would be or any thoughts. And I, lo I left Malcolm and Eddie, man. I know there's some other shows people like, you left this, but Malcolm and Eddie to me would have ran, would have did some damage in this tournament, man. I might have to redo a bracket one time, but go to the comment section, get the conversation started, share it around, thumbs up, subscribe. And thank you for listening.